Hello everyone. Today in this CAD session for specially for the FEA, we will study a force and displacement. Myself, Professor Kunal Singh from Mechanical Engineering Department. We will understand that the effect of force and displacement in FEA, if we conclude it in the uh, stiffness matrix, then how I can how we can just relate it with the stiffness also and how we can make the force and displacement matrix so for that let us take an example so i am taking an example that uh, one stepped bar is having some diameter here and having a little lesser diameter here which is having a length here l2 and l this bar is fixed at the wall and let's say that there is a, a pull force of 500 kilonewton is getting applied to it so now this general scenario is in front of us and it has a elasticity of something else x let's say right so this bar is in the pull condition and i want to analyze the force in this system. so according to the discretization first step what we'll do discretization So the rule of discretization says first we need to define the elements so this will be our element number one this will be element number two for us then we need to show the how much number of nodes are there so here will be a three nodes node number one node number two node number three now if we draw it in simplification manner then I will draw a single line here is the node number one here is the node number two and here is the node number three for me now the element number one and element number two force of 500 kilo newton getting applied at the node number three so what i'll do i will I'll draw a f3 here this node is fixed so this will be a f1 for me and here will be a f I will talk about the displacement then displacement u1 displacement u2 and displacement u3 here right stiffness will be the k1 for this element stiffness for another k2 right okay uh, so ultimately we have defined the all the parameters which is required as a discretization now we will define the force matrix so second step will be that force matrix Force matrix is nothing, it is very simple. Force matrix means how much number of forces we are having F1, F2, and F3. So, if we put it in the matrix form, then it will look like this F1, F2, F3. This will be a force matrix form. Third thing is displacement matrix. Let me write it down here so it will be easily visible to you all. Third one is displacement so now how many number of displacements we have u1 u2 and u3 so the displacement matrix will be u1 u2 and u3 right now you will be worried about that what about the stiffness that is the k so what will be the relation of the stiffness matrix force and the displacement so if we talk about the relation between force stiffness and the displacement matrix then this will be the relation between both f is equal to k that is the global stiffness matrix and u that is the displacement matrix now if I will expand it then what I will get I will get a F1 F2 F3 it's very easy for stiffness matrix K1 minus K1 minus K1 plus K1 plus K2 minus K2 
minus k2 plus k2 0 and 0 so this is global stiffness matrix and the displacement u1 u2 and u3 right so this is the ultimate three phase steps for the force and displacement relationship between the uh, stiffness and this one so this equation needs to be summarized very well for understanding purpose if we have more number of elements then this uh, matrix will get elongated more in detail so thank you for this session in next session we'll discuss some another topic thank you